My, my sister, Anne, who's about nine years older than I am, she introduced me to Elvis Presley's music. Radio was a huge thing for me growing up. I mean, TV was, of course, as well. Listening and watching movies on television, cartoon music. I was talking to Yorma about that, where he was listening to me play at Soundcheck. He goes, I heard some cartoon riffs. I go, yeah, exactly. His father played serious classical music. A lot of the guys on the cartoon music played serious classical music as well. You'd have to, to be able to read those charts. So this, this idea of how we grow up and, and absorb through all these different avenues, um, you know, photography, our sense of art is through, through whatever mediums we're, we're being exposed to. So if you've watched the David Lean film, um, you know, uh, oh, Lawrence of Arabia, let's say, or the black and white film of Kubrick's um, Dr. Strangelove, and combine those, the imagery, music, lack thereof, dialogue, history, uh, any number of things that, that make up art and, and, uh, and become a part of our voc vocabulary. It's how, how far on the edge do you want to go is really the thing. That's what I learned early and that's what I, when I said I had a two-track um, uh, education. That was way to my benefit because I didn't grow up like, say, Don Grolnick who I absolutely adore, and God rest his soul. He was a wonderful jazz pianist, worked with James Taylor, Linda Ronstadt. But when it came to jazz, he, was, he had a more formal view of it than I did. Um, that doesn't take anything away from what Don did, certainly not, but it wasn't the approach I had. I would probably have done it had I been able to, but I, I wasn't schooled in jazz. I would listen to certain things and go, well, let me borrow that. Let me borrow this. I do the same thing in photography. I mean, I'm not locked into landscape or black and white or color or textured pieces or uh, uh, photojournalism or anything else. I mean, how about Life magazine? The, the, the final page you'd look at and they'd have wonderful photography there. Um, so all these things kind of make up that, what Yorm and I were talking about. Is, thank God we've lived long enough to, to sort of get a handle on what it is we've experienced and what it is we want to say and that we were lucky enough to find our own voice and, and still uh, keep an open mind to expand on that voice. Mm -hmm.